Hey guys, Dave Jr. with Well Built Equipment. Don't forget to check us on the web at wellbuiltequipment.com. Follow us on Facebook at Area Lift Repairs. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment in the comments section below. Today we're standing in our Area Lift warehouse checking out one of our CMC 75L rental machines. This machine comes in at under 6,400 pounds, under 18 foot long with the basket on the machine and gets a full 40 foot of side reach approximately with 440 pounds in the basket. Uh, this machine came into our rental fleet in 2019. We're giving you a little tour of it a couple of years later just to see what it looks like with some hours on it because it is going on to its final destination and end user home tomorrow. So we'll kind of give you a run through, walk around the features of the machine, then we'll hop in the basket and take you guys up for a ride. So uh, start on the business end of the machine, come standard with a Kubota engine diesel and then our machine we got the AC option on it which allows us to plug into a 110 power source run the machine indoors it also has a 12 volt pump separate from that on here that's your auxiliary power for coming down to the ground should you get stuck in the air come standard with two remotes a wireless remote for using the controls wirelessly operating the boom functions driving it through doors and then there's the same remote hardwired into the basket that does not use a battery mounted right up there. On this machine, we did our platform pedal upgrade. Uh, so this has our heavy duty, 100% made in the USA pedal on there. Uh, absolutely phenomenal for the tree industry because uh, you won't beat it up. It's not some plastic POS. Uh, the machine comes with a five foot jib. Ours has a two man basket, but it is available with a one man basket as well. Uh, sliding outrigger foot pads two position outriggers so you can use the machine in both wide and narrow you can set it up in narrow on one side narrow on both sides wide on both sides when you rotate it does limit your rotation in full narrow to between the outriggers so you play a little bit of the pinball game or when you have wide on one side you get rotation all the way around uh, to the opposite outrigger <clears throat> this machine 710 degree non-continuous rotation so you can go almost two times all the way around before you have to rotate all the way back to where you started. It does not have a rotary coupler. It has hoses that do a curly cue inside the center of the turntable. That's how they allow you to do that. Uh, and then it has emergency controls. So full hydraulic proportional controls. If you need to run any of the functions for setting your outriggers or lifting them, running the machine on the tracks, running all your aerial functions. If you do get stuck in the air, someone's trapped and the computer is not working anymore. Uh, so this is uh, what we call a Sigma style or a Z-Boom style machine. A little bit different from CMC's other models. CMC's other models, the 83HD, the 92, and the 72HD, and the 60HD, all those machines are a double boom arm style. They're a lot more similar to a bucket truck design. This style is more similar to how our electric Z-Booms are from Genie, JLG, Skyjack. Uh, or articulating booms that we have in the construction industry. There's two lower arms that come up in a Z fashion, operated of course by a couple hydraulic cylinders, and then one primary boom arm raises and lowers at an angle and extends out. So a little bit different setup. You cannot go below grade with this machine, and also because of that you get a little bit of a ground clearance difference. If you look down here, the 75L from CMC is very low to the ground. Uh, it's really good for indoor applications. We've rented it to a lot of people to be used around pools, inside churches, schools, auditoriums, places where other machines just don't fit as well or don't have the side reach capacity with the weight in the basket. Uh, when you go through a single man door, you do have to remove the basket, but it's pretty easy to remove. One pin comes out down here, stick the pin back in so the cage limit switch is connected, drive it through the door. Once you're inside the door, Put the basket back on. Uh, the tracks are hydraulic adjustable in and out. Right now we have them in wide. There's no up and down adjustability, only your left and right. Uh, and that allows it to go into the narrow 35 inch wide position to go through a gate, doorway, uh, what have you. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. I'll show you guys how it drives and then we'll hop in the basket and show you guys how it extends out and uh, what the reach looks like. So I'll come down here. Turn the key on. At the lower controls, the keys have two positions. So we have a position for using the wireless connection and a position for using the controls in the basket. You can see all the fuses are conveniently located right here. Super easy to read. If a fuse blows, you get a red light. lets you know that the fuse is blown down there. All right, go ahead and turn the remote on. <clears throat> 
turn the remote on and push the connect button. It's going to get mad at me because I didn't start the machine. But you can see the controls here actually give you a lot of information. They let you know if the outriggers are out, if they're making contact with the ground, whether or not the cage is centered, if you're hitting an outrigger collision point, meaning you're being restricted by an outrigger being in the way, you need to raise it further up. Uh, the different lights signify what function you're trying to run, uh, basically what mode the machine's in. And you are allowed to raise the jib and rotate the platform while the machine is stowed to avoid obstacles. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll show you guys. So this is one of the parking operations on the machine. In order to run the parking functions, you see we have a blue button and an enable button. We're gonna hold the blue button and enable button in, then that activates your platform rotate and also your jib function so that you can move the platform up and down with the jib or rotate the basket to avoid obstacles. So, go ahead and lower that back down. And we'll show you guys how fast it drives. So three speeds for your uh, speed selection here. So you have turtle, slow, that's gonna be your torque mode. That'll actually allow it to turn on concrete, grab it, and then we had the double track speed when this was an option. So uh, we'll throw it in high speed, just show you guys how fast it goes. that you start bolting them slowly and you might have to push one joystick a little bit further than the other one in order to keep it driving straight and low speed. So I'm going to turn the engine off here for a minute. Storage box for the wireless remote located right on the machine. Although it's kind of flimsy, so I would highly suggest you do not keep this very expensive part of the machine stored in there. Uh, show you how the two position outriggers work. Pretty simple, just gonna raise the pin. Oops, maybe. You have to be smarter than the lift, huh? Swing the outriggers into position. Push the pin down into place. And we gotta do that for every leg all the way around before we run the aerial functions. So automatic leveling on this machine, click the button, it's going to go ahead and lower all the outriggers at once. As with all the spider lifts, they do have ground contact sensors in the outriggers themselves to let the machine know when the outriggers are on the ground. As long as you have the outriggers raised above the ground, you should be able to drive the machine if you need to make adjustments in order to push it. Alright, 
so. I'm just gonna turn it off for a second here. Now you can see the machine's leveled, the lights are turned down for the aerial functions. So letting us know the booms retracted. All of our outriggers are making contact with the ground and we're running to run the aerial functions. This is the lowest point where the machine leveled here on our shop floor. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up and show you guys just how much this can level. Probably the biggest difference between the 75L and other machines from CMC is it does not have the outrigger capacity that the other machines do, meaning you can't set this up on as much of a slope as you can with the 72HD 83 or the 60. Uh, as with any spider lift, whenever you set up your outrigger pads, you always wanna make sure that the pads land on a flat surface. If you're in someone's yard, that means you're gonna have to dig in a flat spot. You don't wanna go ice skating down the hill. Let's go ahead and fire it up and I'll raise it up some more. So we're back level again while the machine's in the air. If you need to, you can run the tracks on one side or the other. You do that by operating the park button right here, hit the blue button, and then run your track functions. That allows you to drive the tracks. Really good if your tracks are getting worn out and starting to slip out, or when you're putting new ones on. Also allows you to, like I said, clean the mud out of there pretty easily. Let's go ahead and turn it off, and you guys can take a look at the underside of the machine. The one complaint we do have from customers on this unit, along with a lot of the other Spiderless made, the muffler hangs down below the height of the frame. So if you do buy this model, keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want to go digging with your exhaust tip there. That'll rip it straight off of the manifold. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it up and I'll raise it up for you guys. Alright, so while it's up in the air, now you can really see what we're talking about with this style of boom. So this is a Z style boom again, or a Sigma style boom, depending on what country you're from. We like to call them an articulating style in the construction industry. So because of that, what you have here, you have two lower arms that form that Z. What that does give you is it gives you more up and over clearance for the machine if you have an obstacle in the way with that same amount of side reach. Whereas if you have a back set or a double, uh, double boom arm style, that arm is always sitting at a backwards angle. So you kind of lose some of your side reach on the machine as you go down uh, rather than up. This one, as you can see, stays more in a square, more parallel shape as it goes up. So your side reach is pretty much the same at the bottom as it is when the machine is raised all the way up in the air. So uh, this model from CMC, one primary lift cylinder, uses a mechanical link system to raise up the second half of that lower sigma, and then it has a hydraulically controlled platform level to keep you guys level when you're up in the air in the basket. Right, go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and bring it back down. Uh, as with most of the CMC lifts, this machine's equipped with a home button. Click the home button while you hold enable, and the machine's going to retract and hold itself back up. Now when you do 
that, the functions operate quite a bit slower. So usually what we tell everybody is, hey, you can run more than one function at one time. You want to get down to the ground faster, run multiple functions, get that thing close, then hit the home button and let the machine close itself up so you know you're snowed off. So I'll show you guys. stowed. I'm going to go ahead and hold the enable button, hit home, and just bring it down. And the machine's going to run all those functions on its own, on its own and stow itself. Once the machine is fully stowed, it'll stop operating the functions. We're going to get the green light here. That means that the machine is all the way down on the ground. Down arrow for that boom arm right there. Now I can go ahead and raise the outriggers up and drive it to my next spot. I'm just going to show you, you can see the outriggers are up off the ground, although my slide pads or tick pads are still dragging. Now that the outriggers are up, no green lights for contact, the machine's going to drive. The track light is on for green, green means go. Drive it into position, go ahead and reset your outriggers. For now though, we're going to go ahead and stow it. So thanks for taking the time to check out our video and take a little tour of the 75L from CMC. Don't forget to check us out on the web at wellbuiltequipment.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook at Repairs. And always comment in the comments section. Have a good one.